As we watch athletes compete on the world stage in the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, you can see people from around the world putting their physical abilities to the test. But for one local man, it's his disability that's pushed him to accomplish more than he ever has. As you'll see in this special report, you don't have to look further than Springdale to see one man's dreams of competing come to life. For decades, a drug and alcohol addiction was a dark cloud over Chris Doan's life. I always thought it would make me better and make me fit in and make me do all these things, but it didn't. It just ultimately isolated me. His drug use started when he was 15. He began smoking weed, then turned to meth and heroin. It took away everything in my life. It took away my friends, my family, everything. You know, I ended up homeless. On top of his addictions, he's diabetic. Mix the two together, and he's lost a lot more than just years off his life. I didn't take care of myself very well, and I stepped on a nail, and I got an infection in my bone. And so I had to have five amputations to get to where I'm at today. Even after he had a part of his left leg removed in February 2017, the drug and alcohol abuse continued until years later when he ended up in the emergency room with a lump on his colon and in sepsis. And they had told my parents that I had a few days to live. Chris's mom, Kathleen Smith, says this was the news she'd been dreading for many years. His father and I were discussing um, funeral arrangements. But then everything changed for Chris. Three days later, I came to and realized that I didn't want this anymore. And that was it. I think I had to become disabled to become able to have a life. For almost three years now, Chris has been sober. Although he went from being able-bodied to sitting in this wheelchair, he says it's given him a newfound freedom. I know without a shadow of a doubt, if I hadn't lost my leg, would I have ever ran a 5K in my life? Would I have ever went to a gym and exercised? The 51-year-old now competing in races. His first was the Hawkeye 5K in late April. I placed 54 out of 96 in my age group, which means I beat 42 people with legs, which is pretty cool. And he didn't do it alone. His 12-year-old son, Quincy, ran alongside him. Turning the race, I thought it might have been embarrassing to get passed by him, but now I'm actually thinking that, like, whenever you get passed by him, you're like, wow, right? Instead of just letting, like, really, this guy's passing me? Chris is already preparing for future races. Every day he trains for several hours, starting here on the Razorback Greenway to build up his endurance. Then he comes here to the Jones Center, where he lifts, getting ready for the Razorback Run Half Marathon in mid-September. Never was much of an outdoor person, but now I spend a good six, eight hours outside. Everyone, not just people in wheelchairs, but everyone that you can get out and do stuff. You know, because I didn't for 48 years of my life. His goal is to get more races to be wheelchair inclusive so others like him will be more likely to compete. You could have almost jumped up on that. Along the way, he's motivating others of all abilities. Inspiring me to actually push, no pun intended, uh, push on and keep trying. I'm so proud of him because I knew beyond the drugs and alcohol that this is the guy that he would become. I love you, boy. Going the distance to make sure he's the bright light for those who have also had to lose something to gain a whole lot more. My friends and family do not see me as Chris in a chair anymore. Because I've developed into this person that I am, I am Chris, and in the chair is just my legs. You can go ahead and check out how Chris is training for his upcoming race by heading right now to our website for some web exclusive content. Just search knwa.com. I'll talk about inspiration there. If you ever think you can't get things turned around for yourself, that is living proof. Well, I, I said to you during the story, I said my favorite part was when he said, I had to become disabled to become mm -hmm. able to have a life. Yeah. And, you know, being in this position, we've had the opportunity to interview, you know, a lot of people out there in our country. And I, 
every time I've come across someone who's differently abled, they always have the best head on their shoulders. So I'm so happy to see that, you know, he's found maybe what his calling is meant to be. And one of his big dreams is to participate in the Boston Marathon. So we'll be rooting him on along uh, the way. I can't wait to see that happen. Yeah. I have no doubt he'll achieve it. Exactly mm -hmm. right. He definitely will. Well, a Hollywood star, aside from Chris, who we just saw, <laughs>